The wise virgin goddess Athena was a goddess of war, protector of cities, and one of the divine patrons of arts and crafts. The full form of her name, Athenea. She is almost as important as Hera herself and of greatest relevance in Athens where she was worshipped as the patron goddess of the city. Although for a long time scholars did not agree on whether it was she who had given the name to her favorite city or whether the name was derived from that of the city, the latter alternative seems more likely. It has been claimed that she may have originated as a Mycenaean goddess who protected the home and citadels of early kings. This could plausibly support two aspects of her nature that would seem inconsistent at first glance her martial character and her connection with peaceful forms of manual labor, especially weaving and spinning, usually carried out by women within the home. If at one time she had been divine protector of the fortress palaces of the Mycenaean princes, she would possibly have assumed a martial aspect, which would fit as a goddess of the city in later times, Athena Polias or Polyochos that is, of the city, protector of the city, the armed maiden who acted as guardian of the polis, often from her temple situated in her hill fortress. Her temple of the Parthenon on the Athenian Acropolis, once the site of a Mycenaean palace, remains the crowning monument of Athens. In the other most important aspect of her, as a goddess of manual labor, her patronage spans a wide spectrum, although her original dedication had been to the domestic arts performed within palaces. Her interests were in no way limited to women's work, since she was also the patron saint of carpenters, ceramists, and jewelers, according to this, her cult in Athens was closely linked with that of Hephaestus. From the first moment, she evolved to become the goddess of wisdom in general, until late mythographers came to consider her the very personification of the concept of wisdom. She was represented as a moral and just deity of whom hardly an unworthy story was told, if not at all. In Rome she identified herself with the important Italian goddess Minerva, who was, like her, patron of arts and crafts. Athena came into the world in the most extraordinary circumstances, since her father Zeus swallowed her mother Métis while the goddess was pregnant with her and thus gave birth to her through her own head. According to the Homeric hymn, Athena emerged from the head of Zeus, covered in armor, and before such an image the gods fell prey to fear, Olympus staggered, the earth screamed and the sea shook and began to spit foam, the sun god Helios stopped her horses until she had removed the celestial armor from her shoulders and Zeus was from then on pleased with her. As might be expected, special legends arose that accounted for Athena's close relationship with Athens. According to a known narrative that has already been related, she initially established herself as the patron goddess of Attica by defeating Poseidon in the struggle for territory. As we have seen, this particular legend follows a fairly common pattern, since Poseidon had failed in competitions for numerous lands, including Argos, where he lost to Hera. The Athenians, however, had a legend of an entirely different nature, telling how Athena established an even greater connection with Athens by becoming the mother of Erichthonius, the indigenous ancestor of the Athenian people. Although the myth of her conception takes different forms, the basic story is always the same. Hephaestus tried to make love to Athena, but she rejected him and caused her semen to spill onto the ground, fertilizing it. Although she was not the child's mother, she was involved in his conception, and she considered him her own by adopting and raising him once he was born. I hope you liked the video, if so, give me a like, subscribe and don't forget to activate the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video.